Hey, I wanted to uh, also uh, just, uh, yeah, show uh, one of the first gourd banjos. I think this is the first gourd banjo that I made uh, during the beginning of COVID. Um, yeah, my very first attempt to uh, take a gourd, which I actually bought online from a gal in Florida. It's kind of a really big, like almost 11, 12 inch gourd, um, which I, cut one hole in and then I, uh, I used an old table leg I, I my garage is uh, full of all kinds of, of wood and stuff that I just kind of hang on to for for whatever this was an old old table leg um, which I uh, cut down it's actually one continuous piece that goes all the way through the gourd and then uh, put a little sort of decorative little thing on here and the tailpiece um, went for a square configuration for this particular hole in the gourd and uh, yeah that's the tailpiece that I made put a put a nail just drove a nail through those little uh, ribs that I cut and uh, bridge I think I don't know what what kind of wood it was that I made that out of but um, I found this particular gourd has a very thin uh, it's a very thin um, Thin gourd and uh, probably about just a little bit more than a, than an eighth of an inch thick. You can kind of see the edge of the wood there. And as a result of that, when you stretch the skins on there, the whole gourd kind of takes on a different shape. So I had a hard time actually getting. I I, <laughs> I fit the uh, the neck onto the gourd before I put the skin on there. And then after I skinned it, as you can see, the reveal didn't come out quite as clean. It was actually really clean before. And then the, 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 because the gourd shifts a little bit, I actually put another uh, stick, uh, like a, I think I cut off a drumstick and just propped it between the, the, uh, the rod going through the, the gourd. And just to put a little additional pressure on the, uh, on the skin, keep it, keep it taut enough. And then, uh, yeah, you can see the, actually this is evidence that it was a table leg. The table leg was turned. And so it had these little uh, turning slots on the, on it, which I, which I just filled with a dowel. And then uh, I think there was something else funky going on with the front end. So I just put a piece of cedar, a um, little piece of, of cedar in uh, at the end of the neck. And then I used uh, I started using just copper wire to basically uh, give me a, an idea of where the frets are. So I just drilled a hole and pounded a piece of copper wire in there. And um, yeah, set it up so that those those uh, fret markers are actually pretty, pretty accurate. So it gives me a, a pretty good idea. And then bought some tuner or some, uh, yeah, some pegs, just some violin pegs on uh, Amazon. Actually did a little another little cedar uh, inlay at the top, uh, and another piece of copper wire. Just uh, actually made a mistake, and it was too wide for the piece of wood. So thought, well, I can stick a piece of copper wire in there. And when I sanded it down, it came out came out kind of cool. So this is the first first one, first gourd banjo. Let's see how it's tuned. I forget how. Thanks for watching.